Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Mangus, uh, and today I got a cool Fire Emblem challenge for you guys. Uh, you may remember my Advanced Wars challenges where I uh, make you guys survive on a map and we have a bit of a competition to see who can survive the longest. Well, this is that, but in Fire Emblem form. This chapter works like Last Hope, but enemies never stop coming. If you let the enemy hit the unit cap of 50, the Demon King will be summoned. So no, you cannot just hunker around Mansell. So how does this map work? Well, it's it's exactly like chapter 18, except, as it said, it ne enemies never stop coming at you. Now you can choose between the entire Sacred Stones roster of who to field. You get 17 units. Uh, you can either choose between uh, your unpromoted units, auto level to level 20, or 1999 in this case, because Fire Emblem Builder is weird. Uh, this will allow you to choose their promotion. So let's say, for example, you want Kyle to be a Great Knight, you can make him a Great Knight, if you so decide. The promoted units start at level 10 auto level. So for example, this is this is Seth. So this is Seth auto level to level 10. So you can pick the pre-promotes, they have less room to grow, but they start out stronger and with better weapon ranks. Uh, I also installed the skill systems patch just to spice things up a little bit, so... Innes comes with bow range plus one. I just let them keep their generic skills. So yeah, this is this is Innes. He works exactly like it does an FE8, aside from that. So you can pick and choose between your roster of uh, FE8 characters, including Ephraim and Erika. You don't have to field them, by the way. The, it is a game over if they die, so you might actually want to leave them on the bench, but they do have convoy access, which is kind of nice. Uh, you can also enter the armory, where you can buy an assortment of items right here. So, uh, you get 50,000 gold in total to shop for, but I've also stocked your convoy with all the essentials. So you should have plenty of stuff to, uh, to equip your army with. Now, I, I have, of course, already done the battle preps off-screen, because this takes quite a long time. But I'll show you the team that I picked. So I went with Erika, Seth, Tethys, Ines, Garcia, Cormag, Renak, Ephraim, Sele, Ross, Garrick, Natasha, Larachelle, Joshua, Null, Naomi, and Dussel. Now, I did ban summoners, sorry, they're a little bit too cheesy. With summoners, I'm pretty sure someone would be able to uh, find out some strats that could just stall the Demon King forever. So, uh, if you want Null, he's only a druid. And man, his auto level stats are trash. My goodness, look at him. But uh, Naomi's pretty good. I brought Dussel too. Uh, I gave him an S rank in access so he can use the Garm, which is what he's most known for. Uh, you also have the three uh, trainee characters, Ewan and Amelia. I gave them their canonical classes, basically. But I did I did decide to field Ross because uh, he has Paragon, which should make him snowball pretty heavily. So, yeah, these are th this is my squad. And uh, let us get started, shall we? Now, I highly advise you turn animations off for this. It's gonna be a long, uh, we're gonna be here for, for a while. You can see that there are many more walls to crack open here. So enemies will start attacking you from multiple points. Um, if these walls are cracked open, the throne room opens up. And there's also walls here, so you can't just stall it out in indefinitely, basically. The treasure chests are also very worth getting, because they contain the S-rank weapons. And I also beefed up the green units. They're a little bit more competent now, so you want to keep that in mind. Now, I always like to send my archers up here. This is how I usually like to tackle the chapter. And, uh, Stanley has- I bought the Fortify Staff for him because I think it's usually pretty good to do that. I think I'm gonna start off by sending Seth this way. Um, maybe I'll give him a better weapon. I think Cormag has a spear, maybe, or... Does he not? Yeah, I guess, I guess Javelin will have to do for now. But the starting- starting enemies are actually exactly identical to Chapter 18's Last Hope. But the reinforcements are much stronger, and they get stronger for every, uh, for every turn that goes, they get stronger and stronger and stronger. So I think I'll put Erica. Erica is sword locked, so I don't really know if I can... I don't know if it's a smart idea to really use her here. Of course, you want to use the torch staff to see what's coming your way. And before you ask, no, you cannot end this map by killing Reeve. <laughs> Reeve is invulnerable. You cannot... You cannot, um, kill him. I think I might just send Erica this way. You also have the four units that start out here. So you want to be a little proactive and send units out, because again, if you let the enemy hit any unit cap, they will summon the Demon King, and the Demon King will just destroy your units. You cannot kill him. 
So I did it this way to ensure that people would um, people would go out of their way to actually kill enemy units. And one of the reasons why I installed the skills patch was one, it makes units stand as, as apart a little bit more, but also you get the quick overland map animations, which are so nice. So green units get doubled as is the norm. Ah, oh, I made myself some coffee before recording this. So normally, these green units just get wrecked immediately, but this time around, they're a little bit more competent, which is nice to see. There's a druid there. Oh, those guys are actually taking quite a lot of damage. Okay, green units doing well. Look at that, look at that. Good green unit. Even get a crit! That's a green unit I can get behind. So they're gonna help you out for a little bit, but they will, of course. They, just like in Last Hope, they will eventually die. You can't really keep them alive forever, but they help you out a little bit, so that's nice. Particularly with the snipers, too. It saves you some weapon uses, which is actually kind of a big deal. And they heal! Now, I did also buff Mansell a little bit, so he can actually fight. This is just to prevent him getting, like, bolting and killed. Uh, but he actually has some decent stats, and he will heal you, too. But yeah, there's a lot of lot of reinforcements coming here, so you will be overwhelmed, statistically. But yeah, Mansell, I did beef him up a little bit. He's a bishop now, he'll even heal you, which is kind of nice. So I kind of resent this green unit for taking the spot, because I usually like to uh, stand on this pillar myself. Also, the, the music will actually change as you play, so you won't have to listen to this track for two hours as you try to beat this challenge. Now, to, truth be told, I don't actually know if Ducelle's a good pick for this. Um, I was tempted to pick Mur, but her Dragonstone only has 50 uses, and you can't Hermurn it, so... Actually, I don't even think you get a Hermurn staff, so... But Ephraim's stats are actually really good, as you can see, and it comes with Inspiration, which is really nice. So, I thought Ephraim was a viable pick here. Now, I always play like this on, on this chapter. I love sending Innes up here. Uh, Innes has bow range plus one, so he can actually he can actually help out quite a bit here. And uh, I also like to send Garrick up here. Because there's a lot of enemies coming this way. Now, the green units will definitely need some help over here. So, I'll send Sailor here, and... I think I'm gonna tr still try and plug these two gaps. I tend to like to do that. But these generals are very beefy. I <laughs> uh, could try using Null with an Osferatu tome, but he does he does tend to get wrecked by Mercs. I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, Natasha does decently against these guys, but oh my god, I hate Pavice. Can try and do Seth and Cormag, maybe. But again, that's why I added these walls right here, so you can't just tank these two spots. Now, Cormag is a Vibrant Knight, so he has the ability to proc Luna, which can be really good against these generals. And uh, we're gonna use Ross to break open this wall right here. Can't quite do it this turn. Maybe we'll fight a little bit with Renak. Ugh, this is kind of scary, but I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, let's go! Now, Renak is level 10 promoted, so he doesn't have that much room to grow, but his stats are actually pretty good. Uh, let's see, can we use the Brave Sword against this guy? I don't think we can. Now, Garcia, for some reason, the skills patch gives him Colossus. So he's actually really good. I would actually really recommend... But he's very slow, though, which is a bit of annoying. Um, so I, th I don't think I'll go in and get myself killed by on the Mercs. Alright, Green Unit's taking a beating here. Oh, first Green Unit died. Ripping Pepperoni Green Unit. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have sent Natasha out like this. I think she might die now, actually. Oh no, Natasha! Okay, that's really bad, actually. Losing my first uh, staff unit this early on is not great. And that guy has a Bray weapon, I think? I don't know if Cormac's the best target for the- Oh my god, Seth gets doubled by Swordmasters, that's not good. That is not good, and we got Paladins coming in here, but they're getting their butt kicked by green units at the moment, so it should be fine. Wait, why can't you retaliate? I thought I put a Steel Bow on you. Alright, 
we got mage knights. Now, enemy reinforcements are actually a little bit randomized on this map. So you will actually get a different map every time you play. But they are roughly strong. It's just their weapons that changes and their classes a little bit. Alright, Greenian is doing a good job defending the eastern flank. This is good. <sighs> that archer is probably dead though at some point. Alright, Mansell healing. Nice, good job. Thank you. Alright, more enemies are spawning in now. Quite a, quite a lot. And they get stronger every single turn, so... I'm thinking we just let, uh... Let's really try to kill this guy now. There we go. Do they have Pavice or Great Shield? Oh, Great Shield? That's kind of disgusting. I might change that to Pavice, honestly. Great Shield is a little bit bonkers, because it procs so much. You know what? I think I might actually do that. Bit of an edit mid-match. Uh, mid all right, there we go. I actually decided to change this because one of the reasons why I changed it is because in vanilla FE8, um, generals have Pavice, but it's based on their level. But in the skills patch, it's based on their defense. So their chance to proc it like quadruples. I think it's fair to change their great shield to Pavice in this map because otherwise these guys are going to be way too cancerous to go up against. At, at least now you have a, you have the option to kill them with um, magic. I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm thinking maybe Cormag. I'm thinking maybe Cormag sits this one out, because there's gonna be archers coming up from there very soon, and we don't want that, so. Hit points and strength. Rave lands. Ooh, yeah, sure. I'll keep that. I think that's a vanilla drop, actually. Oh, boy. Yeah, that guy has a brave sword. That's kind of scary. Let's see if maybe Null can uh, soften him up a little bit. No, no, I attacked the wall! Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I attacked the wall! <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Alright, what if Innes... Okay, if I use the Brave Bow, I could kill this warrior. There we go. Sure shot is nice. This guy's got a brave sword. Yeah, that sniper is 100% dead. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies coming here. What do they have? Yeah, okay, let's form a wall. Maybe we should... Can we form a, form a wall in front? I don't really want to put Aphram on the front there. I think I'll instead just heal her up. Maybe she survives, we'll see. Maybe she survives. All right, I'm gonna bust open this treasury right now, and we're gonna start looting the S-rank weapons. And I kind of want to move Sailor down here to help the Greenian. I could use the Fortify to heal them up, I guess. I should probably conserve the stuff a little bit, because it's going to be very important. And I think I'm actually just going to preemptively open this treasury right here, so Renak can come here and steal the chests later. Again, you can get every single s rank weapon through these chests, so you definitely want to bring a rogue. All right, now they're gonna start coming in through this wall, and yeah, they're gonna bust open a lot of walls. So you're gonna get attacked by a lot of by by. There's gonna be many different fronts where you'll uh, you'll be attacked. So you might want to try and um, kill the enemies busting down the walls. Oh no, Seth! Oh what? He gets quadded, really? He gets quadded? Oh no! Okay, already things go to hell. Okay. And yeah, even though Dussel has 18 defense, these guys are still dueling. Ooh, okay, be careful, be careful. A lot of enemies coming this way. Oh, he's gonna get doubled. No! What the hell? No, why are you so bad? Why are you so bad? All right, well, greediness are gonna come and help out a little bit. That's good. Ooh. Okay, nice. Good job, green unit. Hey, sniper, sniper gal still living. All 
All right, we're on turn four. Okay, I'm gonna break open this right now so we can go and steal that shit later. Okay, so I've lost two staff units. That's actually really bad. That's actually terrible. Um, that is really bad. I think I might need to use a fortify here with Sele. I might, I might even have to dance for him to get him a little bit closer. These two green units are just chilling for now. Uh, I'm gonna send Ross down here though. And we need to start getting these chests. I don't know if it's safe to do this. I think it is. Sieglin, that's great. So yeah, we'll send that one to Erika for sure. I think she gets five speed or something from that. That's a really strong weapon. All right, we have a horse slayer. That's a one shot actually, so that's really nice. And I think Joshua has a Sambato. He does. It's not a kill though, sadly. Uh, what about Garcia? What can you do? Steal, oh man. Maybe this is why the- Oh, okay! The skills patch gave him Colossus, nice. That's like a guaranteed kill against anything it rocks against. Hit points unlock. Uh, I think if we dance for Cormag, he can take out that Mage Knight. There we go. Hit points, skill, speed, luck, and defense. Probably should have healed the cell. There's a lot of guys here who really needs healing, actually. Oh, right! Naomi has rally speed. That might actually be kind of useful here. That might actually be really useful. But, yeah, me losing all these staff units is not great. I'm gonna be in trouble soon if I don't do anything. Yeah, Garrick is gonna get killed here if I'm not careful. I'm gonna elixir up. Same thing with the cell, probably. So I'm gonna move him forward, and maybe... I think Ephraim has a vulnerary at least, so I can take that. Let's equip a hand banks, let's use a vulnerary, and let's move forward a little bit. Alright, we got more guys coming in from the other side now. That Now that wall is getting broken as well. Cormac is actually doing a really good job here, but of course, the moment we get archers... Okay, Joshua's doing good too. Alright, good job, green units. I do think they're gonna die very soon, though. There's just too many enemies here, but they're missing so far, which is great. That Swordmaster is a big MVP, my goodness. Yep, there we go. Another green unit just died. Oof, careful, Lara Shell. She's very squishy. Oh, nice job, Naomi. Let's go. Naomi's actually a pretty solid pick, I think. Look at her stats. They're actually really good. Mm -mm. Oh. Alright, nice man. The Swordmaster is putting in some work. Alright, so this turn, thieves are spawning. And the music changes. So these thieves, you definitely want to kill them. They actually have stealable gems that you can get. Uh, Evaldi. I don't know if anyone on my team can actually use that. But yeah, you can see there's a lot of units coming from this side right now. Uh, might have to bring some units over here to deal with them. I'm thinking maybe we'll send uh, Cormag, because again, I'm kind of worried about him. Uh, we'll see. I don't know if it's safe to send Ross over here. He does have a Halberd, but his hit rate is ass. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think I think we're gonna we're gonna stay put for a little bit. Yeah, these these thieves, you kind of want to kill them if possible. They're not super dangerous, but they will steal your shit. And they'll also try and take the treasure, and you don't want that, so trying to avoid that. I don't know if I can kill them, though. No, that's the problem. Unless I have a stronger sword, Worm Slayer might? Nah. Yeah. I guess I'm, I'm just gonna have to deal with the fact that the thief is gonna steal some of my shit. If they have the speed for it. 
They do have 18 speed, so they, they, they're probably going to be able to steal some stuff from me. We'll see. But so far, I'm holding out. We're on turn 5. Um, I'd say, like, turn 10 to 15 is when shit really starts to get hard. It kind of depends. I think the right-hand side is going to start getting overwhelmed very soon. Um, so yeah, I think I'm actually going to send Erica down here now, and I'm going to give her the Siglin, because the Siglin is really strong. I th I, if I remember correctly, it's like, it's like 5 speed. No, it's 5 strength, but it's still really strong. And getting some levels on Erica might be good. Should probably put a killing edge on Joshua, oh well. Now we gotta protect our dancer in case there's some units coming from here, and there are. Oh, maybe I can kill this thief now. Ah, so close, so close. Alright, do we wanna pop a fortify on Sale? There's a lot of injured units here. Uh, let's try, let's see if it works. Alright, let's see what comes our way. Yeah, now the units are gonna start coming from there too, so... We need to be careful. There is a general protecting Mansell, and he can protect himself for the most part, but... Uh, yeah, now we're gonna start getting stronger enemies too in these next waves. And I'm fully expecting the Swordmaster to kick the bucket very soon. Oof. Okay, Joshua's still doubling Swordmasters, that's a relief. He leveled magic, nice. Yep. Ooh, nice crit. My god, this Swordmaster is a freaking hero. This Swordmaster is a freaking hero right here. Okay, Garcia getting doubled. What else is new? Okay, so the Swordmaster is finally dead, so... But now we have the... We do have... Oh yeah, so this is the problem with the thieves. They'll steal your shit like this. It's really annoying. So you want to be very careful with them. And if you have Renak in range, you could steal some of their gems. There is a secret shop on this map. It's in the same location. You need the, you need the member card, though. It's hard to get. I think one of the thieves have it. Alright, looks like the general has been activated. And now we're gonna get waves of even stronger reinforcements coming towards us very soon. Yeah, look at that. Level 5 Berserkers. And a bunch of enemy units coming from this direction right now. You know, Ross has a lot of potential with his Paragon, but he needs to really get snowballing early. I'm kinda sad about that elixir. There's no way I can get it back now. And I need to heal Ephraim and Naomi, so... I think Ephraim takes precedence, though, because he is uh, he is a game over condition. I think maybe I can use the... Does she have an elixir? She has a pure water. Not quite the same. Um, I think... I guess I have no... You know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna rally and try to kill these guys. Maybe the are Ooh, that's a hammer! That is a hammer. Uh, maybe Ephraim and Dussel together. I think Naomi is probably dead, though. I've, I've lost too many staff users at the moment. Yeah, I've lost too many staff units at the at this point, so... Strength and defense. Okay. So, I think I'm gonna let the green units take charge here. I, Garcia is gonna die if I don't move him away, so I'm gonna put... I think I might just do another Fortify. Again, I, I know I'm really wasting the staff, I really shouldn't, but... We need to form kind of two walls, because they're coming from the left side now, too. Speed, that's good. Yeah, I'll, I'll put you here, and then put Joshua here, and we'll, we'll, let, we'll let the green units tank a little bit. We will let the green units tank a little bit. I mean, we could bring Cormac down, but I feel like Cormac might be needed over here now. Ah, he missed the thief. That's a shame. All right, let's continue to get these uh, S-rank weapons. I don't know if anyone... I don't think Null can use that. We'll have to check. 
I think he might need some training first. Oh, Naomi might die now. Oh, they're destroying walls now. Ooh, that guy's a hammer. Oh, Naomi survived, okay. Name is still surviving. Okay, very nice. Okay, they got 47% chance to hit her, so she's dodging pretty well so far. I think that guy might have an armor slayer, I'm not sure. Ooh. Okay, nice. Good job, Erica. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, good job, Renak. Let's go. That's nice. Let's go. Okay, we do have to be careful, though. Ephraim is a game over condition. There's Berserkers coming from the left. Ooh, okay. More Berserkers coming in. Oh! Valkyries are pretty scary, man. Ah, there's... Oh, hey, 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 hey! They're stealing my shit! No! Oh boy, okay, yeah, you need to go back and get healing right now. Okay, there goes my, uh, whatever that thief had, I'll never get it now. Yep, you can tell the, the green units are starting to struggle now. Decent as they may be. Alright, Mansell being a bro and healing his friends. But the reinforcements are just gonna keep intensifying until we're all dead. But this is actually a pretty fun map. I always liked Last Hope, always had a ton of a ton of potential, but in the original I always felt like it uh In the original I always felt like the enemies bottled up too much and didn't come from enough areas. Alright, skill, speed, and resistance for Erica, not bad, and a hand axe. Always nice to get some droppables. If you could proc Colossus, that'd be really nice. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna send Sailor down here, and I'm going to heal up. Very sad about the Excalibur, I was hoping maybe I could get that. Mm -hmm. That would actually be pretty nice. Uh, maybe I can get a crit here? Yay, yeah, let's go! Alright, so where's Rena? Okay, this this group right here, they're gonna get screwed very soon if I don't do anything, so I need to do something. Uh, the Vyvern Lord needs to die. There's a lot of units here. If, if I can just heal Naomi, I actually think I'm good. So I'm gonna see if I can do that now. Bum, bum. Hit points, strength, magic, defense, not bad. Yeah, as long as I can heal her up. I do think Clara Shell is gonna die at some point, though. Sadly. Uh. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Uh, Brave Lance, maybe? I'm, I worry about Ephraim, though. Yeah, that's why I worry about him. I think he might die now, if I'm not careful. Uh, let's put something... the Regan Leaf. Just something that doesn't weigh him down. And let's hope the hero won't go for him, we'll see. I'm a little bit worried about Ephraim right now, I think he might die. There's a lot of enemies coming on this side now, which... Yeah, Renak needs to run. Maybe he can kill this guy with the hammer. Because this guy's actually kind of nasty. I think we will just wait here for the time being. I don't want to rush head first into a bunch of guys. Uh-oh. Yeah, the hammer guys really wrecked that general. Bon, bon. Uh-oh. Hey, friend, please. No, 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 no. Okay, be careful. There might... There might be some guys... Okay, now they're breaking down those walls. See, if you're not careful, all the walls are gonna get broken down, and that's usually pretty bad. La 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 la... Skill and speed for Renak. Let's go. Oh, Laura Shell died. Yeah, I'm losing too many staff users. This is gonna get me killed. I should have kept done a better job keeping them alive. I only have Sailor left, and he's gonna die now too, so... Yeah, I don't have a single. I don't have a single staff user left at this point. This is really bad. Yep, this is really bad. 
This is really bad. The greeniness are still holding the fort somewhat, but this is really as the beginning of the end for me right now. Mansell might actually get attacked now, but he can defend himself. He has a Shine Tome. He, he, he'll be fine. But without any staff users left, it's... Right now, I'm kind of on the clock. I should have done a much better job keeping them alive. So, we'll, we'll, we'll let Joshua hold the fort here. Uh, maybe we'll send Eric up to help out. Go help out your brother. Oh! Of course, there are thieves here. I should have known. Uh, I think... I do have access to combo with Ephraim, though. There, there might be... I think... Let's see. Uh, I think I might have some Bonaris left. Yeah, I do, actually. That's good. Let's just try and heal up. I don't know how viable it is to try and go for supports here. They are pretty fast in, a, in, in FE8, so they might work. I don't know. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, there's another ranger. Can I kill him? No, he doubles me. Yeah, I, I don't think Ducelle is a good pick for this map. His stats are just too low. He's not he's not very good at all. So I, I'd say I'd say don't don't pick him. But I do wonder how far some people can get here. I mean, reinforcements happen infinitely, so... And they and they just get stronger and stronger, so... I'm expecting some of you to get pretty far, but... Oof. Oh my god, Ross. Why are you stats so bad, Ross? I have to, like... Re when Renak has to carry you, you know it's bad. When Renak has to carry you, you know it's freaking bad. Oh, Ross is dead. Bye, Ross. One by one, they fall. <laughs> one by one, they fall. Now the greeniness are gonna... These greeniness are gonna get slaughtered now. Oh, Ephraim! Oh, I might lose Ephraim. That's a game over. Hit points, skill, and speed. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh, he's still in there, somehow. He's still in there, somehow. Oh, here comes the sniper from the left. Oh boy. Uh-oh. They're starting to hit Renak now, this is not good. La 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 Okay. They're stealing our elixirs now. This is getting personal. I can't believe that green unit is still in it. My goodness. Alright, more reinforcements, more reinforcements, more reinforcements. What turn are we on right now? Let's see. We are on turn nine. So, yeah, we need to... We need to kind of get out of here. Um, we need to use the Vulnerary. Maybe Mansell will be a bro and heal us up next turn. That'd be nice. And that's a level up for Gerica. Hit points and resistance. Let's see, if we use the Sieglind or the Rapier... Nah, it's not a double, sadly. How heavy is the Sigland actually? Let's let's find out. It weighs nine, so it actually slows her down by two points, which is kind of stupid considering it's her personal weapon. I always feel like personal weapons should be perfectly tailored to to the unit that wields them, you know. All right, Kaboosh. La la. Hit points, strength, luck, and resistance. Let's see, yeah, we don't want to. Don't go for the walls. That would be a bad thing. You don't. You don't want those walls to. Uh, you. Re you really don't want those walls to get punched down. And 
droppable longbow. I don't really know who needs that, but could be useful. All right, we only got one green unit left in this area. A bunch of snipers coming in right now. It's gonna be bad. Renak is kind of forced to fight. So, but Cormac can't really be here anymore. Let's see if we can kill this stupid thief. Come on, come on, Cormag. Ah, this guy's a hammer. That's really bad. Maybe Naime can kill the Swordmaster with a crit? No. I think Naime is probably dead now. Should have put a better lance on Ducell. Man, he's so bad. Why did I feel this guy? Why did I feel this guy? Oh, they're going for Garcia. Okay, I guess he has weaker stats than the green unit. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're starting to they're starting to attack everywhere now. Oh yeah, Mansoul's in danger now. Oh, Garcia's probably dead. Yep. Goodbye, Garcia. We'll see how long uh, this Mr. Green Unit hero can hold the fort here. So many snipers, my goodness. If they proc Sure Shot on Renak, he's dead. La la la. Oh, Berserker hit Renak? What are the odds of that? My goodness. Hit points. Ooh, 20. Oh, that's a Brave Bow, I think. Yeah, that's a Brave Bow. Oh, yeah. This is starting to fall apart pretty heavily right now. Green units are still in it, though. They're still doing a good job. But they can't carry this map by themselves. No one can hit that freaking thief, though. My goodness. No one can hit that freaking thief. Alright, we have reached turn 10. And things are starting to get pretty dire. We don't have any staff units left at this point. It's... It's a slow death. It's a slow death. Um, I say we just retreat to the throne room at this point and see how long we can hold out. Ducell is definitely gonna die. Maybe, what if I break down my own wall and I bring Ducell in here? M might not be a bad idea, actually. All right, let's, let's just protect Mansell, everyone. Let's just protect Mansell. Renak, run. Same thing with Korbag, just run. We'll, we'll let the green units, uh, we'll, we'll let the green units deal with these guys now. Oh my god, wait. Were those ambush bonds by accident? If that's the case, I need to fix that, because that's not supposed to happen. I may have accidentally made ambush bonds, guys. That will be fixed before this goes live. I mean, I'm dead now anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but... Ba 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 Oh, Renak died. Now they're coming into the throne room. Ephraim's doing a good job, though. Oh, S rank. Nice. Oh, yes. Assassins do spawn with lethality. Just in case you thought this map wasn't unfair enough. And yes, we do have siege tomes now, too. On turn 10, shit really starts hitting the fan in a really big way. Mages with siege tomes start spawning, they'll start going for walls. La, na, na. The walls are getting broken down now. Yeah, I think those guys just proc sure shot on a wall, so that's kind of funny. Oh, nice job, Ennis. Uh-oh. Yeah, and once those throne rooms gets busted open, um, they basically have a free ray. Oh, there we go, green unit died. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Erica, be careful. She might die, actually.
the green units are still in it, though, to their credit, and uh, Mansell still being a bro. Would wish, wish he'd heal me, though, instead. Oh boy, I am completely out of staff units. Do I not have any? I think, uh, does no one have elixirs left? I don't think I have a single elixir left, do I? No, I don't. So at this point, let's just uh, group up around Mansell. Ah, nice. Garrick's still doing pretty well with the Worm Slayer. I keep forgetting Cormag has Rally. Maybe Mansell will heal one, of, heal one of my units now. That would be pretty nice of him. Because I don't have any healing left. Maybe we'll get to see the Demon King if this continues. Because they might hit the unit cap soon if this continues. Alright, Garrick is actually being a real champ here. Ba 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 and yeah, they're breaking down the walls. As you can see, that opens up a bigger area. And yeah, assassins will start spawning from turn 10 and onwards, and they can just lethality you. And yeah, bolting mages. Uh, they're not super strong, but they're annoying. And they, they can... And they also do that. Oh boy. Now that wall is gone as well. So this map just becomes increasingly more chaotic. Oh, there goes the last green unit. Is that the last green unit? Yeah, and you can see that opens up the throne room like that. So at this point, objective is just survive. And by the way, in case any of you people thought you could be clever and rescue Mansell, you can't. There's no rescue staves available in this uh, in this chapter either, so no, you cannot simply put him into... Uh... <laughs> oh boy. Come on, Mansell, heal me, thanks. You could have healed e Ephraim or Erica, though, that would have been nicer of you. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. I think we're gonna die this turn, probably. Let's see how many turns I was able to survive. Let's see, we're in turn 12, so I'm, I might be able to survive until turn 13 if I'm lucky. I'm not sure, maybe. Let's try to kill some of these snipers. Let's see, let's dance here. We gotta kill this assassin. The assassins are pretty scary, because they can lethality Mansell, although I think I'm gonna game over from Erica or Ephraim dying first, so. Oh no, what am I doing? I'm attacking my own wolves. Oh my god, I don't think it really matters, but let's just wait and see what happens. Maybe we'll get to see the Demon King? I'm not sure. So, if we survive this, it'll be 12 turns, it'll be 13, if not 12 turns, that's gonna be my record. Curious to see how far some of you guys are able to get here. La na 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 Alright, still in it. Maybe we can live for one more turn? Maybe? No, the bolting may just keep missing. Oh, they keep missing. Oh, I might, I might just be able to live one more turn. We'll see. I think so, maybe. Oh my god, I might just live for one more turn. Oh, Cormac's still in it. <laughs> and he died. And he died. And they're not going for Ir Irika or Ephraim just yet. Good job, Ennis. Let's go. Let's go. Hit points, speed, and resistance. Okay, he's still in it. 
drops an elf fire. Thanks. That's gonna really make a big difference here. And there's a big pause here because a lot of enemies are moving in the fog. That's what's happening here. Oh, Erica's getting attacked now. Nice. Thank you, Monso. I appreciate it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. I don't think we're gonna be living past this turn, but you never know. I'm on turn 13 right now. I think if this continues... I'm, I'm just not gonna kill anything. Maybe we get to see the Demon King. Yeah, I think maybe I've fucked up and made some of these units ambush bonds. I need to be careful about that. But you can actually survive for quite a long time here by just huddling together like this. <laughs> the Assassin's Steel, right? Da 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 na 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 na. They keep missing. That's an assassin. Oh, no lethality on Erica. And Tethys goes down. <laughs> the enemies are incredibly inaccurate. I will. I get those are prom those are unpromoted mages with bolting. But yeah, you can you can live for quite a while here. I might I might just expedite this a little bit in the final realm, maybe give them higher skill or something, we'll see. But surely oh there we go, Ennis just died. Yeah. Erica and Ephraim are actually quite hard to kill. Oh, there we go. Berserkers comes in for Ephraim right now. And... Oh, he's still in it. He's still in it. He's still in it. Oh, there we go. That's a game over, ladies and gentlemen. That's a game over. All right. So I was able to survive what? Was that 13 turns? I think I, I lived for 13 turns. All right. Let's see how long you can survive. Get the ROM for yourself. Play through it, post your results to mangsmemes at gmail.com and I'll add you to the scoreboard. Let's see how long it takes before someone routes this map. See ya!